Well, a woman known for breaking barriers in her career in politics has died. Among her distinctions, Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson was the first African-American head nurse at the Dallas VA Hospital, one of two first black women elected to the Texas House, the first nurse to be elected to Congress, where she went on to be re-elected 15 times. Fox Wars Amelia Jones live at the EBJ Union Station in Dallas with a look at her legacy. Good evening. Good evening, Steve. Eddie Bernice Johnson is a trailblazer in Texas politics. Those who we spoke with say that her legacy will live on forever because of her dedication in office and commitment to her constituents and the American people. Former Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson is being remembered for her leadership, commitment and dedication. Sunday, Johnson's family announced she passed away at the age of 88. Johnson began her career as the first black woman and registered nurse elected to office in Dallas, first serving in the Texas House of Representatives before being elected to the Texas Senate. Johnson spent more than three decades as the representative of Texas's 30th congressional Inaction district. Really she was dedicated to advancing enough. issues like health care, STEM, transportation, and education. Texas State Senator Royce West called Johnson a mentor. And so she was a part of that group of uh, heroes, sheroes, that was able to recruit and also make certain that women of all colors had an opportunity to get into government, get into the private sector, and to be successful. And she'll be remembered for that. West said the lessons she taught him are ones he plans to teach those who come after him. Eddie Bernice Johnson was well known in the community, not just because of her name, but because she showed up. You would see Eddie Bernice Johnson's at different functions within the community on a regular basis. So you, you, you've got to stay in contact with your constituents. I take that from Eddie Bernice Johnson. When Johnson retired from office in 2022, she passed the political baton to Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett. It really says something for someone who had dedicated 50 years of her life to public service to say that you are the one. There were big shoes to fill, but Johnson had her back. All I can do is pray that I can live up to exactly what it was that she saw in me and continue to push forward in these very tumultuous times, um, honoring her legacy of being that, that woman of many first that was always keeping her eye and the ball on the people. Tributes to the former Congresswoman poured in on social media. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson wrote in part, quote, Congresswoman Johnson was a groundbreaking leader for this country and our state and city. There are really no words to express my profound sense of grief. In a statement, President Joe Biden wrote, quote, she was an icon and mentor to generations of public servants through whom her legacy of resilience and purpose will endure. Republican U.S. Senator John Cornyn posted, quote, she gained respect of members on both sides of the aisle over her career. Eddie Bernice Johnson was a trailblazer. She will be forever missed, but her legacy will endure. Johnson's contributions left a mark on the nation and paved the way for future generations. These are doors that she opened and she kicked open and she wanted to remain open. When I spoke with Congresswoman Crockett, she told me that if there's one thing people should know, it's that District 30 was always Johnson's number one, and she dedicated her life to the people. Right now, there have been no funeral announcements announced by the family. Steve, back to you.